This thing is worth traveling from one end of the earth to the other. Amen. When you realize, thank God, that being holy will keep you out of hell. And you that are here that have not obeyed this, you might as well get ready. Oh, yes. I don't care what church you go to. Don't tell me. <laughs> well, Pastor Jim, do you know Bishop Carmichael? No. <laughs> don't tell me who he is. I don't care who he is. That's right. All I want to know, are you right with the Bible? That's it. Imagine if you claim you've been saved or thought you've been saved or thought you've been born again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 35, 40, and 50 years. Just to find out later, you ain't never been saved. Yes. Never been born again. Never. Preachers lied to you because 99% of the preaching that's taking place in churches now is tradition. That's right. It ain't got nothing to do with the Bible. No. It's just tradition. It's custom. Custom. It's hand-me-down. What do you mean, hand-me-down? You know, I come from a family of eight, and when my brothers would grow out of something, they hand it down to the next one. <laughs> so a lot of us wore hand-me-down clothing. It was good, but it was hand-me-down, pass it down. A lot of preaching that's taking place is hand-me-down. That's right. It starts from hell. <laughs> that's right. Preach by the devil, yeah. hand it to his followers, yes. and then he set up religion through men like an open buffet and give them all a variety yeah. of lies. That's right. And hide those lies with the name Jesus. That's right. So I don't see what Pastor Jen is. If you use the name Jesus, that means that religion is right. Don't you know the name Jesus can be preached more than one way? In the book of Philippians chapter 1. Follow me in your Bible. That's why we don't make up nothing. That's right. I'm not like your pastor. Got a written out sermon. Sit up all night with a notebook and pad and get help from his wife. Go ahead, And brother. Google different sermons and then bring his laptop and set it up on the pulpit. And so he don't lose his text. My text Hallelujah. is not on no laptop. That's right. Thank God everything I tell you is in the word of God. That's right. I never been to a Bible college since I've been born. Amen. Never took a Bible course since I've been black. Amen. And the last time I checked, I've been black for 58 years. <laughs> so I want to say, well, how do you know what you know? God gave it to me. Settle it therefore in your heart. God opened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My understanding. Hallelujah. That I may understand the scriptures. God made me a preacher. That's right. Amen. Not my mother, not my father. I didn't get a spell from hell and ate too many pinto beans and got gassy and mm -hmm. got a dream as a result of gas. No. How many men in the pulpit because their wife want to be the wife of a preacher so she can be the hypocrite and first lady. That's right. And she said, come on, James, won't you be a preacher? And that <laughs> thing plagued his mind so bad he said, all right, because all right. he's too lazy to get a job and go to work. So he'd get up in the pulpit and lie and perform and duke people. And the first one start following him, but not only is it his family members, it's his close friends. That's true. God sent me to bring you a message to bring back the fear of God. That's right. Back in church. That's right. Are oh, you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. The reason why churches are in a predicament they're in, the fear of God is gone. gone. Whoever thought you would see a time where the pulpit would be a stage for so-called praise dancers. That's right. A bunch of men and women that look like homosexuals and lesbians with tight lit tars on, jumping around to some music coming out of amplifiers. There is no fear of God before. What? There is no fear of God. Do you hear this? In the book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse 18. $5,000, $20,000 prayer line where someone go off in a tongue, in tongue at the pop of a finger. That's right. And tell you, well, if you give a thousand or five thousand or ten thousand dollars god to give it back to you ten thousand fold how many of you ever been to a church meeting like that raise your hand and after you gave that money he promised you would get it back three thousand fold did the three thousand fold come yet <laughs> or did your pocket fold up that's right i'm from the hood that's right and being from the hood, we know a hustle when we see one. Amen. The preachers are the greatest hustlers, hustlers. than them that come from the hood. That's right. Not only are they the greatest ones, they're the most dangerous ones. Oh, yes. 
Anytime you can hustle the people, play with the people, rob the people, calm the people, and do it in the name of the Lord mm. with no fear, yeah. no conscience, conscience, no remorse. Because the love you have for money is greater than your respect that you have for God. That's right. And when preachers love money more than they respect God, don't you be surprised of the religious trash oh, yes. that's invited and justified in what is today called church. That's right. Today is not church. There's nothing but a club with a cross. That's it. There's nothing but a club with a steeple. Yeah. The same trash you see in club, you see in church. Yeah. The same trash you see in the street, you see in church. That's right. And that's why the sinner ain't got no respect for what is called church, and you can't blame them. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Now in the book of Philippians chapter 1, we'll start at verse 16. Let me show you the different ways where Jesus is preached. Philippians chapter 1, we'll start at verse 15. Follow me in the Bible. Some indeed preach Christ, even of envy and strife. Some indeed preach Christ of envy and strife. And some also of goodwill. Some they mean well. The one preach Christ of contention, some not sincerely. Some preach Christ out of contention, they don't mean it, they're not sincere. Supposing to add affliction to my bonds, to bonds. But the other of love. The other do it out of love. Knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. Listen at this. What then? What? Then, Notwithstanding, Notwithstanding, every way, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Every way, whether in pretense, whether in pretense, whether in faking, whether in not being for real, or in truth, or in truth, what happened? Christ is preached. Amen. Every way. What way did the word of God say Christ is preached? Whether in pretense, hold it right there. Let's talk about Christ being preached in pretending. Pretending. Are right, you listening to the old man? That's right. Look at the various forms of Christ being preached and pretending. Pretending. The way the preachers have been preaching Jesus is centered around dollars and cents. That's right. In other words, Jesus will be your Lord based upon how much dollars and cents you donate. That's right. I don't want a Lord like that. No way. Because if God cannot be God to me unless I got money. Yes. That's a fake God. That's right. Because God said through the scriptures, the poor you have with you always. Always. So your salvation, your deliverance, your spiritual freedom, your spiritual liberation is not based upon dollars. That's right. If you have money. Fine. If you don't, fine. fine. Some folks say, well, Pastor Jennings, I didn't put nothing in offering. Fine. Fine. The greatest offering you can give is you. That's right. That's right. Give God yourself. That's it. Give God your mind, yeah. soul, body, spirit. Yeah. And when you offer that to God, brother and sister, that's the greatest offering you will ever give while you're on the planet. That's right. Pretense. Whether in pretense. Faith healing meeting. Mm. Pretense. Pretense. Touch and claim it. That's right. There's not a scripture in the Bible where the prophets, Jesus, or the apostles, the apostles. told anybody, touch and claim it or claim it. Your healing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I got a bad back. I injured my back doing some heavy work years ago. I'm not claiming I'm healed. No. The one said, claim it. Don't, don't, don't claim that bad back. <laughs> I don't have to claim the bad back. The bad back claimed me. That's right. That's right. The apostles have never told nobody. No. Don't claim the sickness. No. How in the world you gonna tell someone don't claim the sickness and yet Jesus healed them who sickness claimed? That's right. You see the contradiction? That's right. 
Whether what? Whether in pretense. Pretending. That's right. Church supposed to function on the order of scripture. Yeah. Nothing else. Nothing else. The way church function now is equal to a club or a community center. That's right. And if you look at the so-called praise and worship, long-haired men. Yes. Yet the Bible said in the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, it's a shame for a man that to have long, long hair. hair. Homosexuals on the choir, church waving rainbow flags. That's they right. want you to know, we accept them too. <laughs> Someone said, is homosexuals come to any of your meetings, Pastor Jennings? All the time. All the time. Did you welcome them? Yes. Oh, yes. What do you do to them? Preach to them. Preach to them. So the rainbow flag can lose its color. <laughs> That's right. God made you to be a man or a woman. That's it. Nothing in between. Nothing in between. Did you hear what I said? That's right. Man, woman. Woman. Now, when I preach like this, they say, you see that? He don't preach out of love. The hypocritical form of love that's coming from these man-made churches, they want you to sound like Joel Austin, a cotton candy preacher. Yeah. Read your Bible. God ain't never sent a man to play with your sins. No way. God sent men from Old Testament to New to cry out. Cry out. Against the wickedness. That's right. Of the world. That's right. You speak out against the government. Speak out against religion. Speak out against the powers that be. And he always do it and not afraid of nobody. Cry aloud. I'm not afraid of nobody living. No. I'm no stranger to the government of America. This message is so strong and so known until the government of Australia banned me from coming in there. Yes, they did. I was scheduled to fly into Australia in 2019. And uh, it was advertised all over the air there about us coming. <laughs> Parliament <laughs> wouldn't sanction my passport. That's they right. let Williams go. That's right. <laughs> They let Williams in. In fact, everybody who was flying to Australia from America, they let in. That's right. They wouldn't let me in. No, they didn't. We tried every way to get a visa and whatnot. They wouldn't, they wouldn't sanction me. They said that I was too militant and I would cause a great disturbance there. <laughs> they need a great disturbance. Amen. So we had to be innovative and came up with another way. Besides, we decided to do a live webcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were some homosexuals that came to Perth, Australia, the first place, protesting. That's right. With rainbow flags, wearing it as a shawl, and came into the meeting sitting all down on the floor. Because <laughs> we had a screen up, we was able to see them in Australia. And Australia was able to see us. Mm -hmm. And uh, they came and sat on the floor, and I told them, don't bother them. Let them come on. At least they in. Yeah. Hey, man, I don't care if you got a rainbow flag. I'll wrap you up like a taco and take you down in water. <laughs> Glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't care what you got. That's right. Even though the government physically hindered us from coming, the message of God went in, and still over 100 souls went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. So you may hinder the person, yeah. but you can't stop God. No way. Are you getting me? That's right. It's time for church to stop preaching Jesus in a pretense Pretend, that's mode. Right. That's right. When you're pretending, you argue over the color of his skin. Yeah. I don't care what color he was. No. I'm just obligated to obey the teaching. That's it. If he was white, I wouldn't have no problem with the color of his skin. No. If he was dark, I wouldn't have no color, no problem with the color of his skin. No. If he was high yellow, I still would have no problem. That's right. I just want to obey him. That's it. Do you get what I'm telling you? What then? Listen at this. Back in Philippians 1 and verse 18. What then? Notwithstanding. Notwithstanding. Every way. Every way. Whether in pretense. Hold it. Let's stay at pretense. Pretense. The other way they pretend to preach Christ is through artificial salvation. Yes. Fake salvation. That's right. 
When you're told to bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ right where you are and you are saved, no, you're not. No, you're not. That's fake salvation. That's right. When you're told just to confess with your mouth and you are saved, fake salvation. Yeah. yeah. When you hold a preacher's hand and pray a sinner's prayer and you think you're saved, fake salvation. That's right. Anything that a man tell you, it doesn't matter if he stick the name Jesus Christ to it. No. The devil's using that. Oh, yes. The devil went in that business for years. That's right. Whether in pretense. Whether in he, pretense. When he ordained women to be preachers. Hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, he's right. pretending. That's right. Come on, say, what you got against women? Nothing. Nothing. I married a woman. <laughs> a fine woman at that. That's right. I ain't got nothing against women. That's right. I was born of a woman. Yes. A beautiful woman. That's right. We have thousands of women following the truth of God. Yeah. What is my argument? argument? Is when churches allow men and women yeah. go out of bounds, contrary to the word of God, and do something in the name of Jesus. That's it. Like women apostles, yeah. deaconess, women bishops, women elders, That's right. women assistant pastors, yeah. and you weak men talk about you the head of the house. How in the world you the head at home and you drop down to the tail at church? That's right. That's right. A woman that's a real woman and she get married, she want to marry a real man. That's right. She want to know that this man going to protect me. <laughs> Certainly she do. She don't want to marry no man that switch harder switch. than she do. No. Am I right, I said? That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory be to God. What then? What not, then? Notwithstanding. Thank God. Every not way. Withstanding. The Bible said how? Every way. Every way. Whether in pretense. Every way. Every way. Fake healing meetings. Yeah. I've been, as a child, used to hear these false prophets with the same scheme. They used to set tent meetings up. And they went from tent meetings to these mega churches. Yeah. Same fake healing me methods. Miracle water. <laughs> Peter pop off miracle water. That's right. It ain't did nothing but order a bunch of bottles from a warehouse and went to his toilet or sink and filled it up with water and talking about this is miracle water right from the spring of Jerusalem. <laughs> it ain't nothing but tap water full of the dirty sewers of his city. That's right. That's miracle right. water. Miracle water. But they do it mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. That's right. From miracle water the fake healing meetings. Get a long line, preacher take his jacket off like Benny Hinn mm -hmm. and wave it and everybody fall out. That's right. Or blow on you <laughs> and everybody right. fall out. That's right. That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Whether in pretense. Pretending. Pretense. Prayer cloth, Pastor. Prayer cloth is Bible, but when it's not done like the Bible, right. It's being abused. That's 19th right. chapter, if I'm correct, of the book of Acts of the Apostles. Right. That's right. Let's compare the Bible prayer cloths mm -hmm. with what's being done today. In Acts chapter 19, we'll start at verse 11. The reason why Williams brought up prayer cloths because he was a victim of it. That's right. How many of you, I know a lot of the old Thomas probably would remember. How many of you remember the false prophet, so-called Reverend Ike? Raise your hand. Oh, Reverend Ike had a slogan, you can't lose with the stuff I use. Yeah. And Reverend Ike used to say, there's not a pie in the sky. That's right. He had his hair all processed and curled up. And he had a customized gold throne for a pulpit chair. And his walls was painted in 24 karat gold. And he didn't hypocrite about his love for money. No. And his church was packed from front to to back. That's right. His message was God wants you to have your heaven now on earth. Yes. That message is not only was in Ike, but now is in Allstein. Yes. Now is in TD Snakes. <laughs> now is in Creflo O Nickel. All these mega pimps yep. that hide behind the name Jesus right. who pimp you Go right ahead. to hell. The devil hired them to use you Jeez. and to abuse you. That's and right. you running around jumping and shouting in the name of Jesus that you don't respect, That's don't right. have regard for. That's right. That's right. And you think you're getting away with it. Amen. 
Oh, we'll take God, but you got a God to meet God knows. Oh, yes. Listen at this. Acts chapter 19, we'll start at verse 11. Let's look at the method of prayer cloths today mm -hmm. compared to the prayer cloths of yesterday. Acts chapter 19, we'll start at verse 11. Follow me in scripture. And God wrought special miracles. Wait a minute. And God wrought. Hallelujah to God. Amen. God wrought performed special miracles. Special miracles. Miracles by the hands of by Paul. By the hands of Paul. So that from his body. What? So that from his body. From Kmart. From his body. Amen. From Sears. <laughs> so that from his body. From Amazon. So that from his body. Amen. Amen. From his body, what happened? So that from his body were brought unto the sick what? handkerchiefs and, or aprons. And what happened? And the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out if of them. If it came from his body, it was part of his clothing. That's right. Not by a roll of material and cut off little cut. squares <laughs> of material and then mail them out and talk about these are prayer cloths. That's hypocrisy. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that's why Williams brought it up because he was an Ike lover. He was an Ike lover. Oh, yes. And he had one of Ike's prayer Where? cloths. Yeah. And he wouldn't leave the house without having that trash <laughs> all down in his socks. <laughs> he wouldn't even wash the dirty thing. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> wouldn't leave the house without it. Wouldn't leave it. the house without <laughs> it. You might as well walk the halls of shame. <laughs> Yeah. That's but right. when you don't know, you don't know. That's Do right. you understand what I'm telling you? Amen. This is why going to church Go ahead, brother. don't mean a dime yeah. if you're not being taught the right thing. That's it. You ain't nothing but a church hopper and you will become a victim yeah. of being duped, conned, bamboozled, led astray by a pulpit bum. That's right. Do you not know that a lot of this stuff that's in the Bible, a lot of these men know it's in there? Know it's in there. But because it'll make them unpopular yeah. with the masses of the people yeah. and they can't get rich from telling the truth, they won't tell it. A wonderful and horrible thing. Listen at this in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 5, we'll start at verse 30. What is it? A wonderful and horrible thing is a committed. A wonderful and, and a horrible thing. It's committed in the land. It's taking place in the earth. The prophets the prophesy prophets, falsely. The prophets prophesy falsely. What do you mean? They just say anything. Anything. God ain't said nothing. That's right. Amen. These men have called. If you go on social media, social media is worse than television. Yeah. Look at the amount of so-called prophets and so-called prophetess. That's right. Prophecies every day. The That's Lord right. spoke to me this morning and I got a prophecy from the Lord. Yeah. They just make these prophecies, webcast, pop. I mean, they could be driving a car. Praise the Lord, everybody. Your prophecy for today. That's right. Sitting on the toilet. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> a prophecy for today. That's right. In the shower. Praise the Lord, everybody. A prophecy. They just come with any piece of garbage. That's right. That's right. The Bible says God is not, not mocked. mocked. God, God is, not, is not played with. That's right. You don't mess around with God. Amen. Amen. Oh, God say you are reap what you sow. What you sow. Yeah. So you can see the pretense, yeah. the fake, the performance. Oh, yes. Church today now is a big show. That's it. That's right. That's all it is. That's right. Show. A circus. Circus. And the preacher has become the ring master of it all. The prophets prophesy falsely. Give chapter and verse again, William. Jeremiah chapter 5, now we're at verse 31. The prophets prophesy falsely. Falsely. And the priests bear rule the by their means. What you mean bear rule by their means? That means they made themselves a preacher. They got in the pulpit on their own. That's right. They're not up there because of God. No. Don't you know if God gave you a holy message, you're going to have holy results? Amen. Amen. You can look at the truth of God. We have a holy message. Oh, yeah. And God, hallelujah, God give us holy results everywhere in the world. That's right. If God made you a preacher and put his word in your mouth, guaranteed holy message, guaranteed Holy results. That's right. 
Glory be to God. What did he say? The prophets prophesied falsely. The prophets prophesied falsely. And the priests bear the rule by their means. Bear rule by their means. Now, how do how, it mess the people up? And the people got so used to it. Tell the people how they feel about it. And my people love to have it so. How in the world that church people get so bad? You love to love. be lied to. That's right. You love circus performance. That's you right. love to be played with. Yeah. You love to have somebody come out and blow on you. You fall out. Or you have some St. Louis, Missouri heathen <laughs> come to your church and run a week's revival so he can pay his rent the following month. That's and right. And call for a prayer line and then just slap you on the floor. Yeah. That's right. How I many of you go to some church or used to go to some church before you heard this and seen false prophets call people up for prayer and then push them on the floor? Push Raise your hand. Push them on the floor. <laughs> That's practically almost everybody. Oh, yes. Amen. See, I came from the hood. You push. We go back, but we coming back at you. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm telling you? That's right. When I came up. You go push. push. We'll go back, but we coming back. <laughs> He's going to come back at you. That's right. I tell the people, Amen. if the Holy Ghost knock you on the floor, then let him get you up. Yeah. Somebody rejoicing and praising the Lord, they don't need no ushers to hold them. No. You don't need no smelling sauce. No. Think of it. You in the spirit. The spirit in you needs smelling sauce. <laughs> you old hypocrite. That's right. What is that? What then notwithstanding? What then notwithstanding? Every way. That's a, that's a strong scripture. Yes, it is. Every way. Whether in pretense. Whether in pretense. Whether in faking. It's not real. That's right. What is it? Or in truth. Or the real way. Christ, Christ, is, Christ is preached. Is preached. That's right. Is preached. Is preached. The desperation of making money, they'll hire someone to come in. They got crutches in a side room. Crutches, wheelchair. Uh, right. a, 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 a hospital beds all in the side room. That's right. Just paying people. Hit it $200. You get in that chair. $200. You, you get those quarters. $200. And they come in. There ain't nothing wrong with them. Yeah. I blow on you when you hear. <laughs> That's right. Get me along now. That's right. That's right. You know the Bible says this. The love Money. Of money yeah. is the root or the source or the foundation of all, of evil. all evil. And because these preachers, these devils, these representatives of hell yeah. love money so yeah. much more than they love God. Because yeah. God says this, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. My command that means you will keep his instructions, you will keep his orders, you will keep his teaching. That's right. But the preachers, the churches love money That's right. more than God. And as a result of such evil, That's right. who will take God hath taken over the church. But they that will be rich. Listen at this. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, we're at verse 9. Chapter and verse again. 1 Timothy chapter 6, we're starting at the ninth verse. Says what? But they that will be rich. They that will be rich. Fall they into, fall into temptation, into temptation and, a snare, and a snare and into many, and into many foolish. Into a whole lot of in, foolish and hurtful lusts. You can see the preacher and the deacon down there in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, yeah. So-called Christians gambling. gambling. These are so-called Christians people. That's right. And man at the roulette table. That's pulling right. Pulling the lever, waiting for three devils to come up. <laughs> Preachers. Playing the lottery. So-called church people, church people. Scratching off a lottery looking to win money. That's right. Amen. Bless God. The Bible says put a difference between holy and unholy. And unholy. Clean and unclean. That's right. Got people playing sweepstakes. Got people out there gambling, betting on horses, betting mm. on races. That's right. Got people betting on boxers and all that stuff. That's right. Don't you know the Bible said if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. New creature. Old things are passed away, but hold all things become new. new. There got to be a difference in you. That's you right. ain't got no business out there still smoking, drinking, and gambling, and partying. And this is what's going on in the churches now. Oh, yeah. The churches now is nothing but a party. Yeah. It's a playhouse. That's it's right. nothing but a game. That's Look right. at Kanye West can go down there at Joel Alstein Church and just play. That's right. Just play. That's right. Joel Alstein playing and he invite a sinner to a do sinner. what? Play. That's right. That's right. Well, Kanye West is a Christian. If Kanye West is a Christian, I'm high on weed right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> you don't know what a Christian is. No. 
No. If he's a Christian, then I'm high right now. Right, right now. Say amen, everybody. <laughs> a Christian is when you repent of your sins. That's it. Been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. And you follow. You follow. That's right. You follow. Who repeats at God the doctrine of the apostles. That's right. Otherwise than that, you're no more a Christian than a duck can roll dice and take hens <laughs> back home with him. Amen. You got the, you might as well come on back to Bible. That's what I'm telling the world. Oh, come yeah. back to Bible. Oh, yeah. If you're not going to do this right, stay home and stop going to church. That's right. Go to hell free. That's right. You don't need to go to hell with a pocket full of them. Again, you might as well just go to hell go free. Go to hell free. All right, listen at this. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. And into what? And into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Yes. Which drown men in destruction. It drowns men in destruction. And perdition. And perdition. For the love of money. What? For the love of you money. You better give chapter and verse for this. First Timothy chapter 6, we're at verse 10. The Bible didn't say to have money is wrong. No. It didn't say to have money is wrong. For the love of it says money to love it. is the root of all evil. It's the root. That's right. That's what turned the churches backward. That's right. The love for The love of money. The love for it have put Democrats in the church pulpit. Yeah. The love for it have put Republicans in the church pulpit. Yeah. The love for it have made a bunch of imitation Christians storm the capital of Washington. <laughs> That's right. The love for it put a spell from hell That's right. in the mouth of very evangelical, hypocrite, and fake Go Christian ahead. liar. That's right. That's right. The love for money. The love of money is the root of all evil. It's the root. The it's root, the root. The root of all evil. It's the root. That's right. It's the source. That's right. Of how much? Of all evil. From that money to push it by himself a few whores in the neighborhood. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That man, from that money, he'll buy himself a Rolls Royce so he can drive down the hood and see who's out there at night. See who's out there. Cruising. Yeah. Eh? Amen. Bishop Lucifer cruising. That's right. Some of them may be your pastor cruising. That's right. Your daddy is somewhere cruising. Mm. Your husband is somewhere cruising. Amen. Thank God I didn't come back to church Sunday morning. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen again. Yeah. I was glad when they said unto me, let me go to the woman's bed. Oh, let me go to the church. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's right. Thank God. That's he right. get it all messed up, you know. Amen. For it be to God. For the love of money. Right. The love of money. Hallelujah. Thank God. <laughs> amen. The love of money. Is the root of all evil. It's the root of it. That's right. Now, when you see the churches going after everything, glory to God, but what the word of God said, what's the problem? For the love of money is the root of all evil. They love it. Love it. They love it. Love it. They love it. That's why they don't preach nothing that'll get you right. That's right. The church supposed to connect you to God. That's right. The church supposed to teach you how to have a relationship with, with God. God. Yeah. The church is equal to the ark that Noah built to save you from the judgment or the wrath that's coming upon the world. That's right. 